Philippine Law and Jurisprudence, on YouTube. Article 9. Constitutional Commissions. A Common Provisions. Section 1. The Constitutional Commissions, which shall be independent, are the Civil Service Commission, the Commission on Elections, and the Commission on Audit. Section 2. No member of a Constitutional Commission shall, during his tenure, hold any other office or employment. Neither shall he engage in the practice of any profession or in the act of management or control of any business which, in any way, may be affected by the functions of his office, nor shall he be financially interested, directly or indirectly, in any contract with, or in any franchise or privilege granted by the government, any of its subdivisions, agencies, or instrumentalities, including government-owned or controlled corporations or their subsidiaries. Section 3. The salary of the chairman and the commissioners shall be fixed by law and shall not be decreased during their tenure. Section 4. The constitutional commissions shall appoint their officials and employees in accordance with law. Section 5. The commission shall enjoy fiscal autonomy. Their approved annual appropriations shall be automatically and regularly released. Section 6. Each commission and bank may promulgate its own rules concerning pleadings and practice before it or before any of its offices. Such rules, however, shall not diminish, increase, or modify substantive rights. Section 7. Each commission shall decide by a majority vote of all its members, any case or matter brought before it within 60 days from the date of its submission for decision or resolution. A case or matter is deemed submitted for decision or resolution upon the filing of the last pleading, brief, or memorandum required by the rules of the commission or by the commission itself. Unless otherwise provided by this constitution or by law, any decision, order, or ruling of each commission may be brought to the Supreme Court on certiorari by the aggrieved party within 30 days from receipt of a copy thereof. Section 8. Each commission shall perform such other functions as may be provided by law. D. The Commission on Audit. Section 1. There shall be a commission on audit composed of a chairman and two commissioners, who shall be natural-born citizens of the Philippines and, at the time of their appointment, at least 35 years of age, certified public accountants with not less than 10 years of auditing experience, or members of the Philippine Bar who have been engaged in the practice of law for at least 10 years, and must not have been candidates for any elective position in the elections immediately preceding their appointment. At no time shall all members of the commission belong to the same profession. The chairman and the commissioners shall be appointed by the president with the consent of the commission on appointments for a term of seven years without reappointment. Of those first appointed, the chairman shall hold office for seven years, one commissioner for five years, and the other commissioner for three years, without reappointment. Appointment to any vacancy shall be only for the unexpired portion of the term of the predecessor. In no case shall any member be appointed or designated in a temporary or acting capacity. Section 2. The Commission on Audit shall have the power, authority, and duty to examine, audit, and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipts of, and expenditures or uses of funds and property, owned or held in trust by, or pertaining to, the government, or any of its subdivisions, agencies, or instrumentalities including government-owned or controlled corporations with original charters, and on a post-audit basis, constitutional bodies, commissions and offices that have been granted fiscal autonomy under this constitution, autonomous state colleges and universities, other government-owned or controlled corporations and their subsidiaries, and such non-governmental entities receiving subsidy or equity, directly or indirectly, from or through the government, which are required by law or the granting institution to submit to such audit as a condition of subsidy or equity. However, where the internal control system of the audited agencies is inadequate, the Commission may adopt such measures, including temporary or special pre-audit, as are necessary and appropriate to correct the deficiencies. It shall keep the general accounts of the government and, for such period as may be provided by law, preserve the vouchers and other supporting papers pertaining thereto. The Commission shall have exclusive authority, subject to the limitations in this article, to define the scope of its audit and examination, establish the techniques and methods required therefor, and promulgate accounting and auditing rules and regulations, including those for the prevention and disallowance of irregular, unnecessary, excessive, extravagant, or unconscionable expenditures or uses of government funds and properties. Section 3. 
No law shall be passed exempting any entity of the government or its subsidiaries in any guise whatever, or any investment of public funds, from the jurisdiction of the Commission on Audit. Section 4. The Commission shall submit to the President and the Congress, within the time fixed by law, an annual report covering the financial condition and operation of the government, its subdivisions, agencies, and instrumentalities, including government-owned or controlled corporations, and non-governmental entities subject to its audit, and recommend measures necessary to improve their effectiveness and efficiency. It shall submit such other reports as may be required by law. Philippine Law and Jurisprudence, on YouTube.